Photography has a way of uncovering things that we might normally find difficult to talk about. Back on the 12th of 12th, 1992, I was working on the Rocknest Ferries. As we were leaving the, the jetty, as I turned, I put my foot in the, in the mooring line and it snaked around my foot and tore my foot clean off. So you know, people say that you know, your life can change in a split second. I, I think it actually can go quicker than that. The explosion went off. I don't really remember too much of what happened at that moment. Just that it was really bright and and then just remember waking up in absolute chaos. So in the village, we're cooking an open fire. I was a toddler at the time, and you know, toddlers were very curious, um, and she was cooking. She turned around literally for a second, and I just fell into the open fire with both of my arms. I was diagnosed with bowel cancer. And I had five cancers, the last two giving me the scars. I just got started to get stomach cramps, um, just out of the blue. This is a mulga snake, which we commonly call by the name King Brown. 1.6 metre female, she grabbed hold of my finger, and that's the result. I've always been fascinated by scars and the idea that there's a story behind every one of them. And the great thing about being a photographer is that I have a vehicle in which I can explore these ideas. I can use imagery and portraiture as a way to reveal the inspiring, the unexpected, the painful stories behind the scars we all wear. You know, in high school, in primary school, I was like, bullied a lot, so it was very difficult. Um, trying to adjust in a new country, not knowing the language, people are staring at you, kids are pointing their fingers at you. Shortly after the wedding, things became quite tumultuous and uh, there was a lot of abuse, there was a lot of violence um, in all different areas of, of my life. I was, I was just stubborn and, and young and unbreakable to, you know, when you're that age. And if I hadn't have found wheelchair basketball, I don't know what track my life would have taken. Yeah, like you have work taken away from you, it's a pretty hollow feeling because um, you, just, you just don't know how you're going to be able to contribute. Photography at its purest is simply a means to connect to other people. We can peel back these layers and go underneath the surface. It helps me to talk about it because it normalises my experience for me and it's really nice to, to be heard. It doesn't bother me to have my scar photographed. If I can show it and show other people that you can very well live with a scar without being ashamed, scared, wanting to hide it, wanting to go into hiding. It's there, it's not your fault. It happens, you live with it. Some days it is tough because you are reminded every single day of like the worst thing that's happened to you. But I kind of look at them now that they've given me resilience and, and strength. So yeah, I don't mind. I never hide away from showing my scars anymore. I'm kind of proud of them, I guess. What I found is that the camera provides a bridge between the photographer <laughs> and the subject. It's magic. It opens up something that didn't exist before. There's a sense of vulnerability that's shared, a conversation is sparked, one that wouldn't have happened if the camera wasn't in my hand. I think I'm just proud that, that I've come through such a difficult background, but I'm still smiling. <laughs> like, <laughs> just smiling and dancing, having a good time. <laughs> you know, my hands used to be something that represented pain and resentment, and now I'm reclaiming that control back. So that's why I'm out and proud about it, because, you know, someone would say, oh, look at your hands. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Aren't they great? <laughs> it, it gives me a lot of hope and strength. And if mum can do it, I feel like I can do it. And you did it really well. I am really proud of you. It, it represents achievement. Even if something does happen, then you dealt some bad cards that you know you can always you know you can always move on and you can always achieve stuff. And life doesn't have to stop there at all. It 
evolves with you and the way that you feel about it evolves with you. Yeah, I suppose it sounds a little bit uh, a bit weird, but uh, I mean, I love that finger. I love the battle scar on my wrist and my knuckle. These are signs of living. Had I not been through the trauma, had I not carried the scars and the, the wounds of what happened to me, I wouldn't have the strength and courage that I do as a woman now to stand on my own. I've started realising that maybe this isn't just a series about scars. It's a series about people. It's a series about human resilience and the stories we all have to tell.